Hey everyone, we have another integral here with lots of trig functions in it. It's really not too bad. So whenever you're integrating trig functions, um, you always want to think backwards. Um, so when you're doing this piece, you ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative uh, is secant tangent? Well, secant. So the secant of y, that's going to that's gonna come from this piece. Because if you take the derivative of secant, you get secant tangent. What about cosecant squared? Well, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared, right? So here you already have a negative, so it's just plus cotangent y plus c, and that's it, right? It's really easy uh, if you know how to do it. So think backwards. You have secant tangent. You ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is secant tangent? Secant. You have a cosecant uh, squared. So what's a function whose derivative is something with cosecant squared? Well, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared, so you just put a cotangent, and that's it. That's it.